Hey what's up guys, this is Ryan Star TT64 and Merry Christmas and I got a special package from some friends at Rovio. You'll never guess what it is. So I just finally got my hands on the Mighty Mojo 2022 Angry Bird plushies. Hell and my camera's dying. Yeah crap. Well because my camera decided war crimes were the only option I guess I'll film the rest of this on my phone. And honestly, I think my phone's video quality is... Eh, it's just fine. So let's get right into these plushies. So well, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the Mighty Eagle. Let's put you to the side. And put you to the side. Let's get right into this Mighty Eagle. This is weird to look at because I'm so used to the giant one. And it does have this really awesome tush tag right there. There we have the uh, tag itself right here. Angry Birds. They have the Angry Birds plush toy, OG, classic plush, collect them all. Which, let's be honest, as kids, we always wanted to collect them all. And uh, then we have some little wording. Mighty Mojo, Rovio, AngryBirds.com, made in China. And, uh, yeah. That's kind of interesting. They don't have any of the Commonwealth logos that you did on the original. They got the little touch tags there. That Overall, it's... It's really cute. I'm not even going to deny that. I got a 5 inch Angry Birds plush right here. So let's kind of give you some a little bit of a scale. Uh, let's get some other ones out real quick. So here we have a 5 inch Redbird, the original 8 inch Redbird, and the, 20, uh, the 12 inch Redbird. So as you can see, the size differences are actually kind of interesting. And I think definitely for playtime, I would have loved to have a Mighty Eagle this size. But let's be honest here, as cool as this Mighty Eagle is, let's get in the real one. So here's the brand new Mighty Eagle. It's, I'd say it's about 20 inches, 22 inches in height. I'd say that's, that's what it said on the website. Yeah, it's about 12 inches tall. That is the original Mighty Eagle plush. There is a huge size difference. And it is just so cool to see these two side by side. To me, this is the epitome of my Angry Birds collection. I have the legendary Mighty Eagle plush, and I've got the brand new one. And it is so cool. And uh, I honestly kind of wish Commonwealth will continue making plushies. And I really... If they're going to do this, uh, another Mighty Eagle plush, please, please, please do the Space Mighty Eagle plush. That would be awesome. You could have it in this scale. I would, I'd I'd, pay through to the nose to have something like that because that just, that is so cool. And I kind of do wish they kind of made them in this size in the first place, but that is so cool. This is definitely something that as a little, as a kid, I would have loved to have had. Um, one of the, the other things is the texture. It definitely feels different. On both my eagles uh, I will admit this one I did not grow up with this is something I bought on eBay about a year ago and this is brand new the texture definitely feels a little different but you know ultimately the texture is awesome so was this worth the price for me personally, yes, this was easily worth 40 bucks. I mean, the tag, I mean, the, the Mighty Eagle to me is just one of the coolest Angry Bird plushes. And it's nice to have one in a much more reasonable size, much more playable size. Because as a kid, I mean, that would have been almost impossible to play with. And this is just, this is just cool. So, awesome. So let's get into the Red Bird. I like it. I like it. I like the size. I like the shape. I I like it. I really do. Um, no voice box. Uh, it definitely feels really nice and stuffed. Um, the original right here doesn't feel as... Um, the, the stuffing definitely feels different. Uh, you can also tell that there's a slight difference in the eyes. Uh, I don't know how well you can tell, but these are more rounded. Uh, I'm trying to... Like, this looks a little angrier than this one. You can see the eyes are a little lower than this. So this definitely looks angrier. But, eh, I, I don't know. Maybe this is just a kind of a weird red bird in general. Because they got that on the 5-inch. You know, it looks a little more angry. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's just kind of its own little thing. The beaks are also a little different. This is a little more rounded than the original. It's definitely more pointed. But uh, I think that's just kind of a personal thing. And the and this this red bird right here was very lightly used, but I can easily say this one definitely feels a lot softer. The 
texture just oh man, it it just feels really soft and it's got a really good like squish to it this just kind of feels really it, you can easily tell like this feels really malleable and this one not so much i also kind of like the shape i think it's more fitting it's kind of got this more rounded shape to it i guess is the best way i could describe it and it also has the same tag here and it says collect them all which let's be honest the original tags didn't say that but we all felt that that uh, that collect them all is something that is just universal. But anyways, right before this video ends, I also want to mention that uh, I bought these plushes like two days ago, and they got to me like lightning fast. I mean, within two days. I've literally bought things from California that have taken a week to get to me. And these are coming out of New York. Explain that one! Ah! And one last thank you to Maximum Overdrive for telling me about these plushies and convincing me to buy them. So, thanks. Overall, I feel perfectly satisfied with the Mighty Mojo Angry plushies. Will I be picking any more up? You know what? I think I will. Uh, I really do. Because they're a little different, but I don't think I'll be picking up the entire line. I do want uh, the Bluebird and the Minion Pig and Chuck, and those are probably going to be the only ones I buy. Because I have the rest of the characters in 5-inch already. Um, what would I, besides seeing, uh, the Angry Birds Space version of the Mighty Eagle, I'd love to see some unreleased stuff. I'd like to see something a little bit new, uh, maybe more characters, uh, the sky's the limit. Uh, for me personally, I'd love to see the Angry Birds Star Wars RT2 plush finally become a reality, but I think that pipe dream is never gonna happen. It might, who knows. Uh, this, this is so cool, and I, I love it. So, anyways, guys, this is Ryan Star to you, too. 64, sign out my amigos. Peace, and Merry Christmas. And may the Force be with you, always. And stay angry. <laughs>